Bonjour. Bonjour. I'm Gregory. I'm Susanna. And we are Maison Geerbrand. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you watch the teaser and that's why you're watching this video. Otherwise, uh, we invite you to watch the teaser and come back to us. This will be our uh, first episode that you're going to watch and uh, we decided to do a little introduction uh, who we are and what our background is. So I'm Gregory, I'm 48 years old, I happen to be French. I'm Susanna, I turned 50 in December and I'm from the Netherlands. And that's actually why we do speak in English. Indeed. Susanna's French is not that good uh, yet. <laughs> and Gregory's Dutch is... is Zero nil, a klein beetje zero nil. So we communicate in English, and uh, that's why we also decided to do our uh, video in in English. Yeah, it's also easier for Susanna, who's doing all the movies, all the editing. If she doesn't understand what I'm saying, then it becomes very complicated for her to cut uh, at the right time and uh, edit the video. So we go with English. Um, the background story is that we were both working in offices, uh, never mind where and what. Over 20 years. Exactly. And in 2017, we decided to do a, a career change and try to work for ourselves rather than uh, other people. Yes. So we looked at uh, what we liked uh, in life, what were our passions and uh, what were our skills. And uh, we decided to go with uh, home renovation interior design and do it yourself. Yes, and as Gregory already uh, renovated uh, a few of his other houses before and he did a complete renovation of our house in the Netherlands. Yes, there was indeed a very thorough uh, renovation. We added a bedroom, we added a bathroom, we completely changed uh, the upstairs layout, everything we everything. did in that house. Yes. But uh, we were able to sell for a very good price and which allow us to start this project with our own capitals. Um, we were looking for something cheap to buy with great potential so that we could sell it for some substantial amount, hopefully. Yes. And uh, because I have kids from a previous uh, marriage, I wanted to share custody. So we started to look for a house in Normandy because we wanted to stay within 15 minutes drive of the kids' uh, school. And voila, the pandemic didn't help. Huh? It took us... Uh, so over a year to uh, find this house. Yes. The idea now is to actually show you that house as we visited it um, uh, the first time. And we kind of fell in love with the volumes and the potential of the house. And the garden. And the garden. <laughs> The house and was it's a beautiful village. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Absolutely. Um, brace yourself. The image that uh, follow are somewhat uh, shocking. shocking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the house was really not uh, well maintained, unfortunately. Uh, we felt heating or anything. So, and uh, the person who was living there uh, was a bit of a hoarder. So you will see. There is a lot of stuff everywhere. But still, unfortunately, we, we have no smell TV, or maybe <laughs> lucky for you, because um, yeah. what can I say? Yeah, uh, terrible. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna show you, and uh, you will see us in the little corner trying to explain you and guide you through that visit. Our first visit. And uh, let's go for it, yeah? I'm impatient. Let's look at let's that go. house. Okay. <laughs> Happy days. So here we go for the guided tour of the house as uh, the day we visited it, the only time we visited it. The house was built in 1940. The main building is 5 meters wide by 12 meters long, plus this extension which uh, takes the kitchen, which is 5 by 4. On three levels, we basically have 200 square meters. The day of the visit and looking at the outside, what we are looking for is any imperfection and problems, rories in the building itself, uh, cracks and whatnot. What we do know is that the smaller roofs of the side buildings are made of asbestos, but uh, good for us that the main roof and uh, the roof over the kitchen are good. Yes. 
The second worry is that the vegetation has taken over the premises. As you can see, it's uh, growing uh, alongside the building, in front of the building and everywhere. But okay. Now we move to the garage. Unfortunately, we could not go in again because of all the stuff laying in there. It's got a mezzanine, That's so we the can good go news. upstairs. Yeah, and the vegetation in front of the garage could be associated to a jungle as well as on the, the side of the garage. That part of the garden is kept tidy by the neighbor because it's giving directly onto his uh, entrance. So he's trying to keep the rodent and the nuisance out of his uh, own terrain, own field. So he was keeping that part uh, quite tidy and clean. Exactly. Okay, now we're gonna move into the, uh, the kitchen. Kitchen, which is 20 square meters, five by four. Uh, unfortunately, you still don't have the smell of it, uh, but you can Lucky see the food. mess everywhere. And you gotta wonder how anybody can cook any kind of meal in there. But uh, clearly he was able to do that. Now we move into the laundry room or storage room which is directly connected to the kitchen. So that's an advantage, that's nice. There is no isolation. No but, ceiling. But that's okay. Then we move to the living room. Again, very messy. Uh, barely any view onto that magnifique uh, terrain, garden. And it is 40 square meters? Yeah, about 40 square meters of living room with a cheminée and an insert, not connected, but it's there. So that's a way to heat up the house. Now, as you can see, we are moving into the bathroom. Yeah, brace yourself. Brace yourself. This was uh, not, uh, I could not stand in there for longer than a few seconds. As you can see, it is absolutely awful. Disgusting. Uh, the, the ceiling is falling in, there is no floor or it's just dirt. I mean, it goes too quick and it's better that way. Then we move to the entrance, uh, to which we could not enter uh, clearly. It's all blocked. The ceiling is also falling apart. There's an access to the garden whenever you can access it. And now we move into uh, what looks like it used to be his office space. From 1980, <laughs> looking at the computer. <laughs> A so-called toilet with no toilet, no evac, no nothing. <laughs> But okay, it's there. And now we move into the first bedroom on the ground floor. We used to think it's a, a kid's bedroom. Given the tractor, oh, look exactly. at the pretty tractor on the wall. A big mess everywhere, but it's a big <laughs> space actually. Big uh, space. If we forget the toilet and that little office, it's 25 square meter. Not bad. So now we're going upstairs to the first floor. As you can see, the stairs are in a very poor condition. Yeah, they're falling onto themselves and actually the stairs to the attic, uh, a few steps are missing. And he put a mattress there. Here we go, we go upstairs, I called it salle de bain, but it's not a salle de bain. No? It's not a bathroom, it's another storage. What looks finished though, the, the walls are... Painted white. Painted white. <laughs> <laughs> That's above the entrance. Then there is again, like uh, downstairs, uh, uh, some small space with no light that looks like a potential toilet, toilet. but no, no toilet. No evacuation. No toilet, no nothing. Now we go into his bedroom. Yeah, so probably the cleanest room uh, up to his standards, eh? according to his standards. At least you can walk into it and go around. And it's like downstairs, if you forget that little cubicle and that fake toilet, you get 25 square meter, which is very good space for a bedroom. For sure. Now we, we go into uh, bedroom number four. Yeah, we called it bedroom because there is a mattress there, but we're not sure if it was a bedroom. Could be a walk-in closet. Yeah. That is clearly a bedroom. Exactly, yeah. Because there's a bed. Yeah. And a smell. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But okay, that's about 13 square meters. There was wallpaper, so it was finished. Yeah. Yeah. And that's me saying everything needs to go if we buy. Yeah. Now we're going into the room above the kitchen. Let's call it attic number one. 
but we could not step foot in there because there is absolutely everything everywhere some old material the isolation is falling off uh, but it's uh, otherwise dry and in good condition. The beams are not rotten and not showing any sign of infiltration. Now we move into the attic. We cannot show you the stairs because there was missing step, as we said. So we had to turn off the camera, climb, climb up. <laughs> and turn it back on. Exactly. And, and ba here, yeah. it's basically the same. <laughs> it's always the stuff, same. Stuff, stuff everywhere. And Insulation falling off. But again, the beams are in good condition. There is no sign of infiltration, no sign of moist, no sign of rot, uh, no sign. In there. You can stand it there, so it's definitely uh, livable. It can be uh, arranged into bedrooms. And he left us a little surprise. A big surprise. A mummified bat. bat. Scary. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching our first episode. Don't hesitate to leave us comments about what you like, didn't like, tips and tricks. Again, we want to explain to you, we're not professionals. And we're just doing this because we love it. And we think this house got great potential. And uh, any tips on tricks on editing videos, on tools, or please leave us a comment. Yeah, let us know what you think. We cannot wait to show you episode two. two. We hope you will be there. And the best way for that is definitely to subscribe. Subscribe now. Happy days.